how can I set boundaries, but also stay in contact with the other person? Hmm. The art of setting boundaries or the art of having boundaries. And at the same time, it's not an art form because it's our very basic nature. It's our design. So, but how do we unlearn the cultural stuff, the confusion around setting boundaries? I totally get that. Mm. So the moment that I set boundaries is a moment. It's a peak of contact. Setting boundaries is saying more yes to the nature, the frequency, the co-created context, the contact that is happening right now. So to some extent, there is no more here and now possible than in the very moment when I step up and set boundaries, mm -hmm. set my boundaries. And that is what, what we always miss when we look at the topic of having boundaries or saying no, et cetera, because we always approach this momentum from the angle of our words. Although I, I could say the path of the form, the path of words. But as you know, all of my work is about the path of energy. And in the path of energy, it is about my energy steps up and to you, towards you, towards the very contact, the meeting point of the two of us. And I set my boundaries there. And that's such an exciting um, difference. I mean, it's the difference because then you can't be in contact if you can't set boundaries because then you have no idea of the taste of true contact. You just know the small talk frequency of a little bit la la land. That's not, uh, that's not it. That's not what we are talking about when it comes to the wilderness around us and inside of us. Mm, and at the same time, I hear like where the question is coming from, that it's really about, okay, I have set boundaries quite often in my past and it led to less contact instead of more. So I want to have more contact and, and, and not less. And what can I do? Because I can't betray my no. And at the same time, I don't want to be starving around my yes. So I get that. But what we have in our package, when it comes to learning how to have healthy boundaries and communicating them, et cetera, is it's like, okay, in my, in my childhood or in my youth or in my puberty, I didn't set boundaries. And then I started setting boundaries, but I kind of didn't believe that they are fully respected. I didn't believe that they are fully okay. I didn't believe that they are really, that I am, that I am perfect and that I am perfectly lovable with completely healthy boundaries without compromises. So if I embody, I'm a seeker in terms of boundaries, then you are a seeker and then you seek for the solution around this issue. But when you are a finder, then it is about know what, this is a no. And if you want to be in touch with me, you better respect my no. And then this is so clear. There is, it's not, it's no dialogue. Mm. It's no conversation. It's not a proposal. It's mm. a sentence. It's a thing, period. No. And then from there, whole another story unfolds of somebody who is allowed to read you that clearly. That is like, boom, this is a no. Wow. This person, for example, this woman, stepped up with so much power and presence and physicality in our date, I'm amazed. I'm impressed. I will never forget her. She's special. And this is not about a flirty small talk thing. It's really about the instincts of a tigress and a tiger reading each other. You have to feel safe with the other person in order to want to have contact with him, with him or her. And yes, there is something around, I have to feel safe with you because you will respect my boundaries, but also vice versa. You have to feel safe with me knowing that I will say no when I mean no. 
Yeah. So it's there is something like um, putting or playing the code of safety to the other side where it's needed as much as it is needed on my side when this is really about true contact that is nourishing and that is safe and that is potentially something deep and mm-hmm. something involving intimacy or love or bonding. Mm-hmm. So um, <laughs> long story short, keep going, keep training, keep believing, embodying the 100, 1000 allow, percent um, percent allowance permission by life itself for you having healthy boundaries no compromising at all around your boundaries no more keep believing that and not by other persons um like bathing you in standing ovations by you believing that internally that's the crucial thing you believing that internally and then it is also about track better what is happening in the nervous system of your partner in the very situation because what is happening there is way more and something way deeper than just what you might be perceiving or have been perceiving in your past around oh somebody doesn't like that i say no so somebody withdraws from me and won't will never love me that's that's a little girl story around that but, but there are layers underneath. If they are fruitful in the very concrete, like if, for example, in a date, then he will be more interested in you instead of less. I have no idea. Maybe not, maybe yes. But there is something deeper happening than just a mindfuck or just a judgment in a cultural mind. There is something way deeper. And this, what is way deeper, is way more significant when it comes to anything that is around sustainable and honest and nourishing and healing contact. Mm. Yay, thank you so much for your interest in aliveness, no matter what. If you want to dive deeper into the shaking lifestyle, if you want to stop functioning and start living with every fever of your being, you are super welcome in my shaking collection. You will find the link in the description below.